Hey, what's up guys? Strecky here. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to hack the Hunter Call of the Wild using Cheat Engine. So, uh, first thing you need to do, obviously, is download Cheat Engine. So let's look up Cheat Engine. There's their website, cheatengine.org. Now, come on here. It's very simple. This is the first link. Um, well, actually, it's not the first link, but this is the link that we want right here. And I'll put this link in the description. It should look the same by the time you guys get around to it. So click this link, and it'll bring us here. Skip skip and it'll download right here so okay go ahead and click this and then close your browser after you click that that'll start the installation now I want to say in advance there's a couple pop-ups uh, things that they try to hide that you know they want you to install so accept the terms and agreements okay install it where you want to I'm gonna install it on my D drive and blah 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 Start menu folder, it's okay, create a desktop icon, sure. Now here, you don't want to install this, I mean, unless you really want McPhee Web Advisor, but I don't, <laughs> I, w I wouldn't recommend it. Click next, all right, it's the only one, so install it. And it should install fairly fast, it's not a very complicated program. Uh, yep, everything looks good. Close that as soon as it pops up. Try out the tutorial, no. So. Here we have Cheat Engine, and we're going to want to select a process to open, which would be a Hunter Call of the Wild. It doesn't matter if you're on single player or multiplayer, uh, just do it whenever, you know, whenever you feel like it really. I don't think they have an anti-cheat for the game yet, and I don't think they really care that much either. So uh, click open uh, after you select the Hunter Call of the Wild, or you can just double click it here, like that. So now we're in Hunter Call of the Wild underscore f.exe which is our game right here so get into our game going full screen my bad and uh, yeah so first thing you want to do is say I want to change my money this is our credits up here right I have 1987 credits go into the value here right here and type in the amount of money that you have mine's 1987 yours is more than likely gonna be different so 1987 for me anyhow and then click first scan okay this will scan and it'll find everything in the game that has 1987 in it so that's okay um, now you're gonna want to get a different amount of money and then do another scan so we're gonna go out try to find a deer and take it down which hopefully won't take too long and you can see here I'm just in the beginning area new character and everything like that so let's try and go and get an animal here. Uh, this seems to be a nice spot. And I'll speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. Obviously, that would be a waste of time. And I'll catch you guys in a sec. So here's our deer. I just hit it in a vital spot. And didn't kill it right away, but we Hunting got its track. They're not the most difficult yeah, to hunt. High bleed rate. Here it is. So now. Uh, let that lady talk. Now, um, we're going to claim our trophy here, and we're going to get the money, which is going to change our money, and it's apparently going to give us $720. So, now, our new money is 2707. So, type that number in, whatever your number is. Yours won't be the same. Don't hit new scan. Hit next scan. There we go. Now, we only have two of them. So, now what we want to do is right click it, change value of selected address, and put it to whatever amount you want. Me personally, I think I'm going to go for 600 million. Um, and make sure, oh, never mind, it just changed both of them. And as you can see right here, uh, in our game, it actually changed it to 600 million in game. So now we want to do our XP, obviously, because why not? So first of all, um, let's go ahead and type in our XP 1540 that's my XP yours is going to be different and click new scan and then do first scan so it gave us a bunch of numbers of course and now we just have to do something that gives us XP which would be right here you can kill an animal you can do anything you can find a lookout point you can do pretty much anything as long as it gives you XP. Any amount of XP will do. 
So it would actually appear that we found the uh, the shooting range that I never knew was here. So I don't know if we'll actually get XP for this or not. But in hopes that we do, I can't find the door. Um, claim. Shooting range unlocked. Okay. So there we have it. Our XP reward of 100. And that'll do it. So let's go ahead and alt tab. Get out of there. But let's go ahead and alt tab. Or, sorry, actually. Find our XP. 1640. So type 1640. Oops. 1640. And do next scan. And just like the last time, it only gave us like about two or three. This time it gave us three. So it takes 300,000 XP to get all the way up to level 60. And that's, well, that's the level that we want. So change value of selected address. Six, or sorry, three zero 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 zero. Um, I don't know every single level's XP. I know that level 60 is about 280 something thousand. One, two, three. Okay. And there you go. So with the XP, it's a little bit different. It'll update your XP automatically, but to get level 60, um, you'll actually have to, uh, you know, do something that gives you XP once again, and it'll update your XP amount, and it'll also update your level, and you get all those levels and everything. We're about to get our XP right here, and there's our level up, of course. And it won't pop up all the level ups on your screen, so you won't be sitting here getting level up 60 different times, which is <laughs> very cool. But now, as you can see up on the top, it lowered down our XP, down to the XP needed for level 60, and you can't level up past that. So I don't think you can get any XP past that. But, um, there's our XP. And now we have 22 skill points available. So let's Alt-Tab and type in 22 on our, on our value and do Next Scan. Now there's a lot more values here, um, unfortunately. Uh, looks like even more might be popping up here. Uh, so... I'm going to play it the safe way and I'm going to change all these ones that are at 22 right now. Um, I'm going to change them all to 80. Okay, so we already did 80 on our perk points and skill points, so we're good on that. So, there we go. We did everything that we could other than our firearms and stuff, but I don't really think I have to teach you how to do that one. There we go. Okay. So, um, remember that our rifle score was 121. And let's make sure that we got our rifle score correct. 121. So, uh, we need 4336. So, there we go. So now, let's go get our new Rifle score, make sure you're okay. Rifle score is written down. Rifles. Our new one is 173. So, type 173 right here. Okay. Next scan. There you go. So how much do we need? We need 4336. So change value. 4336. And this is just to unlock all the rifles. Change value, change value, change value. Okay. So, um, for that to update, I'm sure we're going to need, um, you know, another rifle kill. Oh, never mind. It's locked. That's weird. So yeah, we're definitely going to need another rail, but here it is. So, da -da -da -da, quick kill bonus. Okay, so let's put down our tent once again and see if our rifle score updated. Rifles, and there you go. And the same goes for handguns, bows, anything really. Shotguns, it, it goes for anything. So thanks so much for watching this video guys. I really hope it helped you guys out. Um, and once again, uh, try to kind of, you know, think about whether or not you want to do this before you actually do it. Um, it can ruin the game for you. Uh, but, like I said, it's up to you guys. I'm sure you guys know what you want. And, um... Yeah, if you if it helped out, 
leave a like on the video and comment if you have any problems, even though I, I more than likely won't be able to help with any problems you have, uh, because I didn't make Cheat Engine and I don't really know anything about it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.